Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're asking the question, is medical privacy just, we're done with that? You know, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Patia Mail, that's patiamail.com. Article is titled, New Thai Health Insurance Policy for Foreigners in Border Regions Only. Quoting directly, press reports that a new registration scheme will help boost access to health care for foreign nationals and the stateless is creating confusion in expat circles. Health Minister Tolnan Srikal is launching a new scheme on January 1, 2024. Interesting date that January 1, 2024. A lot of things happening January 1, 2024. Changes to tax policy here in Thailand, a lot going on. In any event, quoting further, to assist non-Thai people and the stateless to get quicker access to public hospital coverage by computerized registration which will take five minutes as opposed to the old system requiring weeks or months. Okay, cool. And when you get into this article, and I urge those who are watching this, go check out that article. You'll see primarily this program is being brought online for, for lack of a better word, and I don't want to use a blanket term and say refugees, but that's because it's not necessarily the case. There's also economic migrants, as we've discussed in other videos. Thailand kind of has its own separate scheme for dealing with countries that border Thailand and that have a lot of migrant labor that come into Thailand. So for example, there's a specific regime, if you will, pertaining to work authorization and immigration for those from Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar that differs greatly from the programs that pertain to other foreign nationalities here in Thailand. So there's that to begin with. Understand that's primarily what this is being rolled out for is to help those folks. And on the one hand, that is a good thing. It is. I'm not going to say it's not. And if it is a program that results in folks that are in really, pro it sounds to me like dire straits, they're able to get some quality medical care in five minutes rather than weeks, that is definitely a good thing. But as a, as a once, or I should say as one of the past great jurist minds once said, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And while there are good intentions behind this, I think it's worth noting that since COVID, I've just noticed over and over when there's a medical thing, the notion of medical privacy just isn't even mentioned anymore. That your medical records are your own. That it is not everyone's business what's going on between you and your doctor. And for whatever reason, again, through the sensationalization of COVID, I guess, is probably the, the biggest factor that I think has you know, unfortunately rattled people, you know, sort of rattled people's logical thinking, but they just seem to have forgotten about medical privacy. That, look, I, I, th I find it very Orwellian that there's some digital ID system associated with people's getting medical treatment. That, that just seems incorrect to me, you know? And then meanwhile, I'm always, I'm always fascinated when, they sort, when it's sort of presented, the premise is presented that, oh, we have this great solution. Yeah, don't, never mind that it's Orwellian because, hey, you know, the system we currently have is out of whack. Instead of somebody saying, hey, why don't you just rectify the system as it is? No, 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 can't do that. We need to bring in this digital system that tracks and traces everything rather than fix the system that, by the way, we, the bureaucrats, created. So, again, I always kind of find these arguments that arise or these presumptions, I should say, that arise in connection with medicine, basically, with medical care, health care in the modern world, I often find these sort of, how do I put it, again, it's just, it's surreal. And, and quite honestly, it's almost Kafkaesque at this point. And, to the, and then it's, you know, not sound cliche, but it's pretty Orwellian in that, you know, now to get medical care, you got to, you, you know, you've got this digital system. Again, I see why they're doing it. I think it's a good thing in, in this limited sort of fact pattern that, you know, these, these folks are in dire straits. They need medical care. We need a fast way to get it to them. Okay, fine. But that said, you know, let's keep a close eye on this whole thing because I personally do not want to be bagged and tagged the next time I go to a hospital. 